There was a growing demand for UHD trucks from our clients. We wanted to be the, the, the first in IP and not the last with a quad base band. We do not want the production team to come in and see any difference in terms of operation. Particularly the ability to have HD pictures as well as, as UHD pictures simultaneously. Anyone looking to go 4K, which the majority of people are these days, needs to look at an IP infrastructure. Whatever format comes along, we'll be able to accommodate. We're a privately owned UK-based company. We run a fleet of 25 outside broadcast units. We also have aerial filming from helicopters and we run private jet charters. We provide facilities for music, sports, D-rigs, the Olympics on a regular basis to large audiences. There was a growing demand for UHD trucks from our clients, so we took the opportunity to build OBX, Y and Z, all from a similar blueprint to, to meet that demand. We were aware when we set out on this uh, journey that uh, the project was ambitious and, and possibly audacious. So we were aware of, of the number of challenges that we would face as we built the world's first IP-based OB truck. So the point of doing the IP truck in the first place was that it would be completely formal agnostic and future-proof. We wanted to take all the facilities of a regular HD truck and take that and transpose that directly into a 4K truck or a UHD truck. And you soon reach a limit, a ceiling, where even the biggest baseband routers can't give production the amount of resources that they need to, to, to make the shows that they're used to in HD. So taking on such an ambitious project needed a lot of support and we needed a major manufacturer with an end-to-end -end solution and Grass Valley offered that glass-to-glass -glass solution so it was important to have them on board with the right integrators and the global support that you need. We first got involved with Arena um, in October 2015 where they approached us about building uh, an IP truck. So we uh, spent some time looking through various manufacturers and Grass Valley really came to the top of all of them. I mean the first question is why would you move to IP? I suppose that, I think at the beginning everyone thought we were crazy or insane, they were looking at us like we were madmen. Um, but you know, we, we have improved the workflow, we have scalability, and we can deliver whatever format, HDR, UHD, or whatever format comes along, we'll be able to accommodate. We had to be comfortable that every element that we chose was best in class, and that's where Grass Valley and Cisco's partnership really gave us confidence in the equipment that we were, we were choosing. Choosing the Cayenne switcher was probably the easiest decision we made in the, in, in the truck. The, the, the pedigree of the switcher, with all those years of Grass Valley support and, and knowledge behind it, made it a, a, a no-brainer, really. And in the 4K world, it, it still excels as a, as, a, as a great machine. One of the great things about the Grass Valley cameras is that the picture quality from them has always been superb, and particularly with the native sensor on the LDX86N. The pictures are fantastic, what we'd expect from Grass Valley cameras, and the operators, of course, love using them. And particularly the ability to have HD pictures as well as, as UHD pictures simultaneously, they were all key elements in the decision process. So Grass Valley being a key founder of the Ames project gave us another comfort factor, as well as working with a large global company like Grass Valley know that they're trying to encourage interoperability between different manufacturers, encouraging us all to work together, which is the ultimate goal. I think this is the future for IP truck. Anyone looking to go 4K, which the majority of people are these days, needs to look at an IP infrastructure. It's much more flexible, much more modular to get going. Uh, the traditional way is too restricted in the future. HDI is crucial. I think the whole world is, is, is looking forward to seeing 4K HDR pictures and the beauty of having an IP based truck is that we're ready. 
For such an ambitious project, Grass Valley really were the only manufacturer that offered us the full end-to-end -end solution with all the global support that we, we needed to make it a success. So we've worked with Grass Valley right from the conception of these projects with their solution architects really working out how IP could work in a real-life environment. So we now have three IP OB trucks. It's been a very exciting uh, change of technology to embrace from, from the drawing board to the installation to actually getting them out on the road. And we've been supported by training from Grass Valley and other third party suppliers. And there's been so much enthusiasm from everyone else within the industry. And we are only at the start of this journey and there's so much more to learn. Um, but the support we've had has been just so exciting. And I'm really excited about the journey that we have ahead.